Well, back on the uh, back straight for yet another distance of roughly seven and a half laps. Got those a few barriers and some water jumps in the way. It's the steeplechase for the ladies. Yeah, just over seven and a half laps. The water jump on the inside here in this fabulous old stadium. As Tim has mentioned 20, 2012, 1912, 110 years ago. The Olympics were held here. And they've seen some great steeplechases over the years, including one or two world records back in the day. Back in the 80s, did we have a world record? I'd have to go and record that. Anyway, so a very competitive field. Uh, some of the world's best, I have to say, not here tonight. So it's an opportunity for somebody to get a big victory in the Diamond League here. And it might not necessarily be one of the Kenyans. The big talking point, I've heard the German commentators behind me going, how is uh, Krauser going to go? Haven't seen her race at all this year. She was meant to run the German Championships last week. Said she had a bit of a cold, didn't go to Berlin. So she's here in Stockholm instead. I know she's been training in Colorado. Then she was recently um, in Davos in Switzerland just before she came to race. Uh, should have been in Berlin, as I said, and now here in Stockholm. So let's see how Krauser goes. Got others to watch out for. Like the Chiara Scherer of Switzerland made a big improvement this year. So is the French athlete Alice Fino. And then some more experience from Kenya, Rosafine, Chepin Gaitic, Fancy Chirono. They've run plenty of these diamond leagues over the years. Well, the pace was asked uh, reasonably quick, but uh, you can already tell Tim that Krause is not interested in a pace. She, when you haven't raced, you know, you, the times aren't important, particularly the steeplechase. You just want to get out there, get a race under your belt, and then she'll uh, head off to the World Championships, I'm sure. So they've set off pretty slowly here. The pacemaker at least is looking round and waiting for them. Hasn't gone charging off regardless. Well, one of the ironies of this is that Chepin Getic is uh, quicker than almost all the field in terms of her personal best. It was four years ago. She's run 9.32 this year. She leads. Back to Chris Nielsen, first attempt at 5.93. He's going well, cleared 5.83 already. Oh, that's lovely, yeah. Nielsen cleared 5.83, second time of asking. He pops over 5.93 there at the first time of asking. And Chris Nielsen loves it because he knows that's a big vault. His personal best is six metres exactly. That was back in early May. But the Olympic silver medalist knows he's sharpening, he's honing his technique, his skills, the confidence is there, and it's building all the time, as it will, Steve, for Krauser in this one. You were talking about Krauser short of racing. I think you've got to regard these first two or three races as just building the confidence. We're all prone to uh, sort of falterings in our confidence if you haven't done something for a long time. Particularly this event, it's, it, it can be a brutal event when you're not fit, you know, you, you really get found out. So Daisy Chep, uh, Chep Kamai, now running for Kazakhstan, former Kenyan, former world junior champion, all the way back in 2012. She's in second place, following Chepin Katic. Lea Meyer, US-based German, is just moving behind uh, her as well. Duplantis then, his first ball at 5.93. Oh, yes. Thank you very much. Calm down, he says, calm down. There's a little bit more to come. How they love him here. He lives here in Stockholm. He said to me earlier, I had a quick chat with him for breakfast, almost a stone's throw from our hotel. Although brought up in the USA, of course, he's from Swedish heritage on his mother's side, and he's enjoying himself out there. Is he going to do something special here tonight? In Oslo, a couple of weeks back, 6.02 was the uh, world best. His world outdoor record is 6.15, of course, 6.20 in Belgrade indoors. There's his dad. Watching the real play. Give him a bit of feedback in a minute. Daniel Stahl finds himself in fourth place. No throw in round one. Hit the netting. A poor throw in the second round. That looks a little flat. Yeah. No, well. Stahl stalling, if you don't mind the pun. On the big stage for him. The win in Stockholm is so important. I said he hasn't managed to beat Che in a, a Diamond League. Well, it's not Che he's worried about here. It's a Lechner with that first round throw close to 70 meters just put real pressure on the olympic champion so far not responding mm. back in the steeplechase chepin gaitic uh, you're right tim you know she, she's got a pacemaking job but the way this race has been running she might even think about keeping going here kiara Sierra mentioned her earlier on she's with chep kamai and then uh, uh, leah mayer and 
Alice Fino, these three Europeans who are having a very good season, improving. All three of them have improved uh, quite substantially this year. Uh, Lea Mayer, a former teammate of uh, Lizzie Bird of Great Britain, who's now the British number one as well, who's ran British records uh, this season. So 3.05 through the first kilometre was uh, a little uh, quick for a lot of these, but it's going to be Chepkamai who's out in front now. Jason Chepkamai, Kazakhstan. She didn't win the Kazakhstan uh, championships, but she had a decent PB over 5,000 metres a month for just recently, so her strength is there, and she's committing here. And that's a, what, a 10 metre lead to the three Europeans behind her. Four laps to go. Well, she set herself out there, Steve. I mean, when you go into the lead by 10 or 15 metres halfway through a steeplechase, then you had, uh, you've made a very strong statement. There's uh, Mihambo in this long jump competition. She uh, jumped 6.70 to her opener. And uh, D'Souza jumped 6.73, the Sao Tome and Principe athlete who lives in uh, Portugal, incidentally, competes for the Benfica, Benfica club. Mihambo, I'm not quite sure what the discussion was there. Keeping yourself warm with that blanket round her legs, but it's very tight at the top. D'Souza has jumped 6.73 in round two. Mihambo, 6.72. Bet Romanchuk here in the fourth round, her best, 6.71. Now, what can she produce? He's breathing down the neck of the two ladies ahead of her. That's nice as well. Well, that's coming right down on top of that leading line superimposed across the sand. She's jumping beautifully. And she is perfectly capable of uh, shaping up this field as Beck Romanchuk. She's a 686 jumper this year. Doesn't belong to the seven meter club yet, but she is, what, sixth ranked in the world. And that one, can you believe it? 672, the same as Mihambo. Well, in the steeple chase, Jep Kamai still out in front, the three Europeans. And we can add Srebkova almost to that now because she's trying to catch the Ukrainian is in fifth place. But Jep Kamai looks as though she's just extending away. The others are running very close to. Uh, well, certainly a couple of them are close to personal the best, 6-12 for the leader. So these three are heading for a good time as well. Alice Fino of France now pushing on, trying to get away from Sierra. And Lea Meyer looks a little bit tired now, the German. They're being caught by Svetkova of Ukraine. But it's out in front, Daisy Chepkamai, who wants the pacemaker stepped aside, Chepkamai stepped aside. They, well, she managed to keep a decent pace, 3-5 and then 3-7, 6-12, as I said a minute ago. So for her, that's quick. For Fino, heading for a, another very good, you think, sub-9.30 clocking. Set a national record in Spain in May. And when you look at people improving, she's closing a little bit here, Tim. And she's gone, she began the season as a 9.45 steeplechaser and is now down to 9.20 and still... Has got well if she could raise the game a little bit in check can I work a falter she's got time to catch her perhaps well she's improved her flat speed dramatically this last winter did Fino and Steve when you improve 25 seconds by mid-season on your lifetime best in the Steve Chase you have to wonder how much more can come off don't you and she's uh, a late developer to put it mildly Fino at 31 but yeah she's running bravely has broken away from that group behind her and I think you're right, I think gradually, she might run out of track, but gradually she's reeling in Jet Kamai. I wonder if Jet Kamai is aware. Yeah, it's a tantalising gap, isn't it? About 15, 18 metres or so. But the steeplechase, you really can't suffer. And if she has got any sort of kick, look at Jet Kamai just checking. You've got to hand it to her, she really did attack this. And she built this lead for herself. All she's got to do now is concentrate on the last lap, not make any mistakes. So, Chepkamai, this is a good return for her. She's run some good races in the past, and perhaps uh, the last year or two hasn't been running as moved on uh, as the event has moved on. So many women running in and around the nine minute mark. But Chepkamai heading for a big victory here. There's no chance of Fino catching an hour because she's extending down the back straight. Still climbs over that barrier a little bit. The French woman clear in second place. Shera and Strabkova in a real tussle for third 
The Ukrainian just moving ahead of the Swiss athlete. She said that I'm taking this on from Fabian Schlumpf, who uh, for so long was the Swiss record holder. And Shera just looks a little tired there. So out in front, though, Chepkamai, just the water jump and one barrier in the home straight. Last time into the water. Kazakhstan athlete has judged this race really well. Fino France, clear, not a good performance from her. One more barrier for Chepkamai. Just strides into it, takes it nicely, and now she can sprint for the line. She's watching the clock, could be a season's best here for Chep Kamai. And the Frenchwoman could be heading for yet another big personal best. 9.15 the winning time. It's going to be under 9.20 for the Frenchwoman. She punches the air with delight. And it's Shera who manages to just get ahead of Strepkova, taking the third spot. Well, well done, Chep Kamai. Picked up the pace, kept it moving. And despite a bit of a challenge from Fino, Fino never quite got close enough to really put her under any pressure. The two of them, though, with really good performances. Season's best for Jep Kamai and a new national record, another national record in personal best. Under 9.20, that's a bit of a benchmark for Alice Fino. Steve, I think that makes Fino the third quickest European this year. National record, as you say, quite rightly. Good running from Sheer to 9.24, but uh, yeah, Daisy Jetkamai. I mean, that was a solo run, frankly. Good uh, pacemaking earlier on from Chet and Getic. Maybe a little too quick. 3.05 the first kilometre. Jetkamai coming home in 9.15, but she was able to maintain that tempo. She had helped through to halfway or a little bit beyond. I think she could have gone quite a few seconds quicker. That is a truly dominant run. And there is, uh, without any doubt, more to come from uh, Daisy Jepkamai. That's uh, a season's best by some 12 seconds. Some good performances behind there. Said it was an opportunity race, wasn't it? Where you knew the pace wasn't going to be too fast. Some next in these Diamond Leagues, the athletes behind us so far are not involved in the race. But another national record for Strebkova in fourth place and a personal best for her. Leah Meyer, knew, uh, the German as mentioned earlier, personal best for her as well. And one or two other seasons best. So, win for Jep Kamai though. Hard work as ever in the steeplechase. And uh, Krauser, I'll just uh, confirm that, not on there, but she ran 9.44. Do you think you'll see her in Eugene? As Steve says, looking at Tim inquisitively. <laughs> Beck Romanchuk then, fifth round, 6.72 for the Romanian. Coming in.